Hey guys, someone sent me a request on Discord. He wanted me to show you how to clean the topology on a curved surface after a boolean operation in order to get a perfect shading. So that's what I'm going to show you today. This model will be available to download on my Patreon page with all my 3D models for those who would be interested. Let's get started. So when we look at this model, we can notice that there is a problem. If you want to join two objects, they have to have the same polygon density. We can clearly see that the small cylinders have more density than the sphere. So I'm going to remove half of the edges in order to get a more uniform subdivision. You can very quickly fill this end gone with two simple shortcuts. Ctrl T to triangulate the geometry, then Alt J to turn the geometry into quads. Add a mirror modifier to split the mesh in four parts. I'm going to work on one fourth of the model. If you get a nasty shading, open the geometry data tab and click on clear custom split normals data. Now I'm going to duplicate the sphere because it will be used later with a shrink wrap modifier in case I destroy the perfect curvature of the model. You can hide it, we don't need it yet. Let's select the sphere and add a boolean modifier set to union. Pick the front part, then apply the modifier. You can get rid of the cylinder or you can hide it if you want to use it later. Let's select the sharp edges. I added this command in my quick favorite list, but if you don't have a shortcut, open the select menu and choose select sharp edges. Bevel them with a shape of one. Delete some polygons to keep one fourth of the model. And now let's connect the vertices. The shortcut is J. You can also connect the vertices with the knife tool. The shortcut is K. Remove that end gone and add a grid fill. And add a couple of edge loops. When you apply a boolean modifier, it adds some vertices. You have to get rid of them. To do that, select all the vertices and merge by distance. I would like to add a bevel where the two shapes intersect, but I can't because the flow of the edges is broken. Instead, I have to manually add the bevel with the knife tool. The thickness of the bevel has to be as uniform as possible. Take your time because when you eyeball something, it's very easy to do something wrong. If the edges are too close to each other, relax the geometry by sliding them away by pressing GG.
Once you're done, add a mirror modifier and delete the triangle in the center. Add a mirror modifier. Remove that big end gun, add a grid fill. And add a couple of edge loops. Now let's add a shiny matcap to see where the curvature has been deformed. If you turn on and off the viewport visibility of the sphere that we duplicated before, we can clearly see some distortion. To get rid of it, I'm going to add a shrink wrap modifier. But first, let's select the vertices of the sphere. To be able to select them more easily, add a seam. That way you just have to press L to select the sphere part. Select the vertices and assign them to a vertex group. Add the shrink wrap modifier and pick the hidden sphere. As we can see, it also affects the cylinders and that's not what we want. So add the vertex group to the modifier to exclude that part. If you enable and disable the modifier, you can see the difference. The smooth curvature is back and we have a perfect surface. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment. It helps me a lot. And I will see you in the next one.